What is going on guys, welcome to Gump's videos, my name is indeed Kyle Gerber, and today we are talking about The Wicker Man. That is right, we are back to our WTF series reviews, it's been a hot minute, I remember I think I announced this movie like a month or two ago, It's been it's been pretty long, and I'm really excited to get back, but this is not the movie that really got me excited, my god. I was expecting some early 2000s cheese topped off with Nicolas Cage and his over-the-top performances. None of that's really in here. I mean, yes, you got one Nicolas Cage freak-out moment, but that's it? Really? That's all you're gonna give me? There was like only three times I really laughed out loud at this movie. The first 15 minutes were fucking useless. Like, it reveals that... Nick Cage is a highway patrol officer that rides a motorcycle. Okay, cool beans, bruh. But he's, he pulls his chick over because her, her daughter is restoring a doll out of her car because, you know, she was bored and that's what kids do when they're bored. He pulls her over, gives her the doll back. For some fucking reason, the girl throws the doll back again. He goes to pick it up and then the car gets fucking smashed because, because Nick Cage was blocking the road. That's not why, that's not what was funny. But, so Nick Cage throughout the movie constantly sees this girl and is taking medication for it because of PTSD. But, when he sees this girl, for wherever he's at, no matter where he's at, a fucking 18-wheeler comes in and fucking smashes into her. Like, I remember, he was on a boat, right? On a boat, chilling. You see the girl just chilling out on the edge of the boat, like, just chilling. I'm like, you know what would be funny? If a, they just reenact the entire thing and he, she gets hit by the truck. Not even in two seconds later, it happens. And it was just so shocking that they thought that was going to make us give a shit about the character of Nick, Nick Cage. I don't, I don't even remember. I think his name was Ed. But, like, we're, I'm just going to call him Ed for the rest of the movie. They're like, oh, feel bad for Ed. <laughs> just keep on showing this girl and getting hit by an 18-wheeler because of PTSD, bro. No, it doesn't work like that. It's stupid, especially because you're on a fucking boat. And it's just so absurd. And then he t pops a pill and he's like, Oh, serious, gloom, droom, ugh, so sad, Batman, ugh. And for some reason, they keep showing that in the entire fucking movie. Like, it has nothing to do with the plot. In fact, it actually confuses me a lot more. For some fucking reason, the hiring agent decided that, like, every seven-year-old girl looked the fucking same. Like, this girl looks exactly like the person he's trying to find. Like, he has a photo of his, this lady's daughter, and he's like, you gotta, she's like, can you help me find her? And I'm like, okay, whatever, you just do, do, you do your thing, Nick Cage. But the thing is, the girl that he hit looks exactly like her. And the girl, and all the children on the, on the island look like her. They all have the same dress. They all have the same fucking, uh, ponytails. I'm like... What? You're, you're complicating things for no fucking reason. It's just confusing as shit. I'm like, so wait, what? did he hit the girl he's trying to look for? Or are you trying to do a stupid plot twist? And it, like, it derailed the plot at hand. I'm giving this movie way too much credit. I'm actually thinking about this movie. Shame on me. One big problem with this movie is the fucking screenwriting. It's the biggest problem with this movie. The dialogue is cringeworthy. It is just questionable at best. And all the performances are just awkward. It's just creepy. People are like, well, listen, it's a creepy movie, so the performance has got to be creepy. No, it's creepy in the wrong ways because it just seems like they don't want to be there. Like, Nick Cage is not even being Nick Cage. That's how little shits he gives. He's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, like, finish this movie up and then I'm going to go to the next shitty movie. Like, there's not a lot of care into these performances and especially with the story, going back to the screenwriting, there's so many fucking plot holes. Like, half the time of the movie, I'm just sitting there like, he could have done this, and the movie would have been over. He could have done that, and the movie would have been over. She could have done this to Nick, and the movie would have been over. And the thing is, the plot twist is so obvious. Spoiler alert! Everybody, even including the person that hired him, is in on the whole thing. No fucking shit! Or they're trying to allude to the idea that the girl is going to be sacrificed and whatever. Creepy! Whatever. But in the very beginning of the movie, they specifically said, we got to find 
the Wicker Man. And like they didn't exactly say they gotta find they gotta find him, but they mentioned the Wicker Man and they said some freaky ass shit saying like how we gotta sacrifice him or some shit like that. You said that in the beginning of the movie. And let me let me give you some backstory on this island. It's a chick fest, and every single dude is so pussy whooped, or for some reason they just don't talk. And I'm like, oh wow, I wonder if they their tongues are cut off. Don't explain it. They just it's just there. The guys are just scared, never really explaining anything. They don't they explain the wrong things, just ignore the wrong things as well. Like, why are the dudes so scared? Why aren't they talking? Like, I get it. There's some some suspicious ass shit going on. But are they with it? Are they against it? They don't really say. Like, they seem scared out of their fucking mind. But when they kill Nick Cage, they seem to be fucking happy about it. It's, it's just confusing. It, it was... this. That's another problem with this movie. It's just confusing as balls. Like, I don't know what they were going for. They're like, ooh, we're gonna confuse the audience. So, like, really, like, spice the movie up a little bit. The problem is... You might be trying to send me in different directions, but also, not only are you doing that, you're setting your plot in seven different directions. And it's confusing the audience in the wrong way. Now they're wondering, what's the idea? What's the point of this movie? There's no point to this movie! It's stupid! Like, the plot's like, okay, the chicks are evil, the guys seem to be scared, they're they're just like, I don't know, they're, their tongues are cut off or they try to run away. They don't explain it. They, it's just like, all over the place. It's all over the place, and it's stupid as shit. And there's a lot of continuity errors. There's a lot of first-grade mistakes with the editing. Nick Cage, is he's got a suit on and a pants on. He jumps in the water, and then he gets out of the water, and he's in his fucking pajamas. Like, yeah, I said, pajamas, sue me. This movie's just garbage. The only scene, another scene I really laughed at was, obviously, when they killed Nick Cage. And that... Was when they obviously did the whole the bees the, the, they're in my eye. Uh, and yeah, it's like uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't really laugh out loud. I was like, ha, ha, ha. But then they killed him. That's when I fucking started laughing because he started crying. It was like, oh, dude, I don't give a fuck. You're stupid. Like the thing is, it was so obvious. It was like, hey, listen, buddy, I'm the killer. Do something. This dumb fuck is flashing his fucking highway patrol badge at people like, Hey, listen to me. You know how stupid you look, bud? But, like, beside the point. Like, you you were in the academy. Learn to, like, really look at people. I'm pretty sure that Steven Wonder would have picked up on some of this shit. He would have been like, Oh, that bitch sound crazy. He fucking walked out. But yet, this moron who's got a badge and a gun... Manages to get his gun stolen, bullets taken out, put back in his pocket without noticing, and then just doesn't realize that the fucking psychopaths on the island are fucking evil. The, the signs were right there. They're, they were right there. You don't understand. Like, I'm not a detective, but this dude should be. He's a fucking cop, and he didn't even realize that these people were fucking setting him up. And just, the, the, the things were so obvious. But he's like, wait, this person's my daughter? Oh my god. The fact that this dude was a police officer, I lost all faith in that world's police academy. I lost all faith in law enforcement right then and there. I'm like, if this fucking jackass can get a badge, who else can get a badge? Like, these people were so obvious. Some chick that I haven't talked to in probably 10 years, they don't really explain that. It's just been a forever as what they would word it randomly messages him with mail. By the way, 2006, who writes mail anymore? It's called email, computer, text, phone call, figure it out. Like, that should have been a fucking signal right there. Oh, find my daughter. Oh, that's suspicious. Oh, is it my daughter? Is it someone that you love? I, no, that's suspicious. Oh, you're currently living on a private island? That's suspicious. Th these fucking women are, like, talking all kinds of rituals and shit like that. There's books called Rituals in the Arts. That's suspicious. All the chicks are fucking, like, hiding something about this girl, clearly acting like she doesn't exist. That's suspicious. But yet, you dumb fuck are like, wait, 
you guys are evil? It takes you an hour and a half to figure that out? Are you fucking dumb? I think I had my fill with this movie. The plot just pisses me off. It's so dumb. I felt like they... I, I, it just feels like that they wrote one draft and they're like, good enough, let's make a movie. Oh, wait, Nick Cage needs a job. Let's get him. Let's do it. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Nick Cage, this movie wouldn't have caught any ground. To me, it's not that funny. I literally laughed at the first 15 minutes of the movie, and I laughed at the last five minutes of the movie. And guess what? The last five minutes, Nick Cage was being murdered. So, kind of tough, isn't it? The rest of the movie was just awkward performances, just cheesy, shitty dialogue, and fucking obvious plot twists, and, like, with an obvious outcome, and our character, our hero, is so fucking moronic, it's just, it just, like, there, there was not a good time. It was not a good time. I don't know why people love this movie, like, like, in a bad way, like, I don't get it. I don't see what, that fun, what was so funny about it. I'm sorry. If I was probably fucking pissed drunk with my buddies, I would have probably smiled. Like, I, I just don't, I just don't get it. I'm gonna rate this movie fuck nose out of 100. I, I just don't give a shit anymore. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Later and goodbye.